Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. Let's begin with the practice question. The fit for 55 package is linked with which of the following groupings? The correct answer is European Union. As part of the European Green Deal with the European Climate Law, the European Union has set itself a binding target of achieving climate neutrality by 2050. As an intermediate step towards climate neutrality, the European Union has raised its 2030 climate ambition committing to cutting emissions by at least 55% by 2030. Thus, FIT for 55 refers to the European Union's target of reducing net greenhouse gas emissions by at least 55% by 2030. Morning hills are related to which of the following states? Haryana is the correct answer. Recently, the new campus of National Institute of Fashion Technology in Panchkula was inaugurated. In its backdrop, there lies the Morni Hills. Morni Hills are located in Panchkula district of the Indian state of Haryana. These hills are offshoots of the Shivalik range of the Himalayas, which run in two parallel ranges. Also, the hills are a paradise for wildlife enthusiasts as birds like quails, sand crows and doves are found here. The animals like jackals, hyenas, sambars and even a jungle cat or two are also seen. Comic-Con pipeline starts from which of the following countries? Russia is the correct answer. Recently, Germany announced that it will completely stop buying Russian coal on August 1, 2022 and Russian oil on December 31, 2022. Druzba oil pipeline is also known as the Friendship Pipeline and Comic-Con Pipeline, world's longest oil pipelines and one of the biggest oil pipeline network in the world. It carries oil from the Almatyevsk in Russian Federation to points in Ukraine, Belarus, Poland, Hungary, Slovakia, Czech Republic and Germany. The decision to construct a crude oil pipeline was taken by the Council for Mutual Economic Assistance convening in Prague on December 10, 1958. The construction started in 1960 with each country responsible for their own section. The Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora was signed in which of the following cities? Washington, D.C. is the correct answer. Recently, the Wildlife Protection Bill, which was introduced in the Lok Sabha in the 2021 winter session, will be taken up in the upcoming monsoon session of the Parliament. The bill aims to implement SITES, which was signed in Washington, D.C. on March 3, 1973. SITES was later amended in 1979 to trade plant and animal specimens with other governments without threatening the survival of the species. It is an international agreement to which states and regional economic integration organizations adhere voluntarily. Although CITES is legally binding on the parties, it doesn't take the place of the laws of a nation. Recently, the term Karina was in the news. It is a nebula. Recently, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope reveals emerging stellar nurseries and individual stars in the Carina Nebula that were previously obscured. The Carina Nebula is a large complex area of bright and dark nebulosity in the constellation Carina, located in the Carina Sagittarius arm of the Milky Way galaxy. There is a young star forming region called NGC 3324 in the Carina Nebula. The last and final image released by NASA shows its mountains and valleys dubbed as the cosmic cliffs speckled with glittering stars captured in infrared for the first time by Webb Telescope. The new image shows previously invisible areas of star birth. Lux Zeppelin experiment in, is in the field of, the correct answer is, dark matter. The latest to hit the news in the field of dark matter is a dark matter detector experiment named Lux Zeppelin in South Dakota in the US. As of today, this is the most sensitive dark matter detector in the world. Many physicists strongly believe that the entire visible part of the universe forms only 5% of all the matter in it. They believe the rest is made up of dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter is made up of particles that do not have a charge, which means they do not interact through electromagnetic interactions. Consider the following statements about bail or bailable offence. In bailable offence, the grant of bail is a matter of right. The term bail is defined in the Criminal Procedure Code of 1973. Only the first is correct, A is the correct answer. 
Recently, the Supreme Court has called on the governments to consider a special legislation on bail, stressing a pressing need for reform. The court also linked the idea of indiscriminate arrests to magistrates ignoring the rule of bail, not jail. Criminal Procedure Code does not define the word bail. Offences are categorized under the Indian Penal Code as bailable and non-bailable. In case of bailable offences, the grant of bail is a matter of right. In bailable offence, bail may be either given by a police officer who is having the custody of accused or by the court. Which of the following categories of paper are excluded from mandatory registration under the recently introduced paper import monitoring system? Newsprint paper, currency paper, security printing paper, handmade paper. The correct answer here will be currency paper and security printing paper. That is option C. The Directorate General of Foreign Trade has introduced the PIMS. It has amended the import policy of major paper products from free to free subject to compulsory registration under PIMS. It shall come into effect from 1st October 2022. It shall be applicable on import of a wide range of paper products such as newsprint, handmade paper, coated paper. However, paper products like currency paper, bank bond and check paper, security printing paper have been excluded from mandatory registration. The move also aimed at promoting Make in India and Atmanirbhar initiative under this category. Vithal Rukmani Temple was in the news. It's located in which of the following states? The correct answer is Maharashtra. The Vithal Rukmini Temple Trust recently announced that the temple would allow women and non-Brahmin priests. However, the leaders of the Varkari sect protested against the temple trust. Vithal Rukmini Temple is a Hindu temple in Panharpur, Maharashtra. Panharpur is located on the banks of the river Bhima. It is the main center of worship for Vithoba, a form of the god Vishnu or Krishna and his consort Rukmani. Lord Vithal or Vithoba is also known as Pandura and Pandari Nath. Which of the following statements about National Child Labour Project scheme is correct? It was initiated in 2010. It is a central sponsored scheme. It was merged with the Samagre Siksha Abhyan in 2016 or none of the above. C is the correct answer. The Labour Ministry is learnt to have told the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Labour that since the NCLP was merged with the Samagre Shiksha Abhyan in 2016, the ministry has no records of child labour. Government had initiated the NCLP scheme in 1988 to rehabilitate working children in 12 child labour endemic districts of the country and it was the major central sector scheme for the rehabilitation of child labour. Epstein-Barr virus is a, the correct answer is cancer-causing virus, Indian scientists have recently found that the cancer-causing virus Epstein-Barr virus affects the glial cells or the non-neural cells in the central nervous system. This could pave the path towards understanding the probable role of the virus in neurodegenerative pathologies. The EBV can cause cancers like nasopharyngeal carcinoma, which is a type of head and neck cancer, B-cell cancer, that is a type of white blood cell cancer, stomach cancer and so on and more than 95% of the adult population is positive for EBV. Carbon border adjustment mechanism is related to which of the following groupings? United Nations Development Program, ASEAN, Quad, European Union. Answer it correctly, that's it. Thank you so much for watching.